Hey, happy Monday. You know, I wanted to finish up with communication a little bit today. I wanted to jump right in. You know, sometimes we can over explain ourselves. I know I'm pretty good at that, if you will. You know, a lot of times I don't want there to be miscommunication. So I'll over explain something, everything, blah, blah, blah. To, you know, give it the slightest, deepest details that I can and everything. And one thing I've learned in that, though, is this. A lot of people out there, you're not having miscommunication with them. They just want to believe a certain thing. So no matter what you say, how you say it, you know, how you explain it, so on and so forth, if they want to see what you're saying in a negative light, they're going to see what you're saying in a negative light. It doesn't matter what you're saying. It's not even about that. And then especially if they talk to other people about it, they're going to push it out there in a negative light. And if they talk to people that are also immature in communication, um, then those people are going to influence them to see them in a negative, see what you're saying in a negative light as well. You can't do anything about that. There's some people out there that are just going to do that, and you're going to have to accept that. So many times we beat ourselves up over it, and we're like, man, you know, if I only said this, or I only described it this way, or if I only said these words, things would be different. They would have taken it differently. No, they are going to take it that way no matter what you do. So you got to be able to identify that. Then, you know, also, you know, the people we go to, for advice on communication or in relationships in general. The people we go to for advice on communication or relationships, if they're not that great at communication or relationships, we're kind of getting advice from the wrong people. And I see that part happen a lot where people are out there and they're asking this person and that person. And you can see these people don't know how to deal with communication. They don't know how to communicate properly with them themselves and stuff. So that's another issue we kind of go through. And then I think there's a little bit of you know, when we're talking to people, we're dealing with people and stuff, we can kind of think that, you know, they know us, they know our heart and everything. And we'll tell them something. We may be a little more blunt with them as we would be with someone else because we know, or we feel they shouldn't take it negative. They know where we're coming from. They know what we're about. We're, you know, nice kind of people or whatever like that. You know, it doesn't have, you know, that air of, of arrogance or, or, or meanness about what we're saying, but a lot of times we're sitting there and we're believing that about them. But again, if those other things are going on before that, if they're dealing with people, getting advice and communication from people who aren't that great, if they're deciding, you know, at this, that point in day, someone has influenced them or said something in their mind that they're going to look at it negatively, that that's what's going to happen, you know? And that's the thing. Listen, we all should take responsibility for our, for our own positions in communication. You know, we can only do so much communicating with other people if other people want to see things in a certain way. You can't do anything about it. And at the same time, people, if someone's communicating with you, you got to be mature enough to actually listen to what they're communicating and not color it with your own bias or your own manipulative way of wanting to express to other people what this person is communicating about. So anyways, have an awesome Monday. You're an awesome, amazing person. I hope you have an awesome, amazing week just as well. But I think communication is something we all need to work on and we all need to strive to be better at. So peace out. Bye.